Welcome to Solutions Studio. This is a free series on C programming language. If you like these videos, please subscribe to follow along with this series. Also, please like and leave a comment and share the video to help spread this series. In this episode, let's go and review some of the concepts that we have covered in the previous episodes, especially with iterations. So we know that iteration or looping is used in most of the programs as we have seen in many exercises in the previous episodes that needed iteration or looping. And a loop is a set of instructions that the computer runs over and over again. So as long as some condition for the loop continuation is true. We have also talked about two ways that we can create loops and that is counter controlled iteration and sentinel controlled iteration. In counter controlled iteration, a counter variable is used to keep track of how many times a set of instruction is run and when the value of the counter controlled shows that the right number of iterations has been completed, then the loop ends and the statement that comes after the iteration statement is run and that was basically counter controlled iteration. And sentinel iteration is that if we don't know the exact number of iterations ahead of time, we use sentinel values to control iteration and the loop includes statements that get data each time the loop is run. A sentinel value indicates the end of data and when after all of the regular data has been given to the program, the sentinel value is put in into the program and sentinel value must be different from the regular data. Sentinel value will indicate the end of data and the loop will finally stop running. So basically this was a bit of review from the concepts that we have covered in the previous episodes. In the coming episodes we will have a look at different other variation of counter controlled iteration and you will see that we have also other different types including while and for loops. Stay tuned and I will see you in the next episode.